What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our college football channel. We continue with our 2022 predictions. The LSU Tigers are up next. Here are some of the predictions for LSU. You see the FPI has them at 7.7 and 4.4. They're about 8 and 4, about a 10% chance to win the West and go to the SEC Championship. Athlon has them at 8 and 4. The over under is at 7.5. Uh, I I might would even put that over under at eight and a half. I don't know. The schedule's tough for them, and there are just so many unknowns. You see, they were six and six last season. It's going to be a much different looking team this year. A lot of new faces. They really hit the transfer portal hard. Lost a lot of guys from last year. The talent's there, though. I mean, when you look at just the way they have recruited, even before Brian Kelly was there, there was a good bit of talent already on the roster. They've added a lot in the transfer portal. So I think I think that talent wise, this team is going to be in pretty good shape. How does it all come together? Does everyone buy into the coaching staff? All of that will really, you know, that will determine if this is a great team or just a good team. You've got options at quarterback, all guys with some experience. So you feel pretty good there. So LSU has a lot going for them, but they, again, have a lot of unknowns. And that's why it's tough to predict a team like this. I think they're going to be a good team. I think they're going to be a top 25 team, but maybe not that, that elite team uh, just yet. So let's go through the schedule. Here it is. They open up with Florida State in New Orleans. Should be a great game. Uh, some people think LSU is going to win in a blowout. Some people maybe think Florida State's going to pull off the upset. I think it'll be close, but I do think LSU will win this game. I just think that the talent level on this roster is just better. Again, we talked about the weapons that they, they have, the talent they have, the, the options at quarterback. Uh, Florida State offensively maybe a little bit challenged in the passing game with Jordan Travis at quarterback uh, I think LSU uh, you're not going to be beat this LSU team if you're one-dimensional and I think that will definitely hurt Florida State in this game but I think they compete I think it is a good game LSU though at the end of the day will take it and I've got the Tigers starting off two and oh next game is against Mississippi State on September the 17th this will be a good game I think it'll be a close game I think Mississippi State's going to be a very good team this year. They have a lot of experience, a lot of production returning. They know that we know they've got a quarterback that can get it done. A lot around him, so I do expect this to game to be very good, very close game. I might would take the Bulldogs if it was in Starkville, but at home for LSU, it's hard to pick against LSU. I mean, I've got to take them here in this game. I say I'll say that they win those two games, also beating New Mexico. And I've got them starting off 4-0. Then the schedule gets a little bit tougher. Look at the rest of the schedule there. At Auburn, Tennessee, at Florida, Ole Miss, Alabama, at Arkansas. Get a little bit of a break with UAB, and then they close it out on the road at Texas A&M. Those are all good teams. Outside of UAB, they're all teams that could beat LSU. Games that LSU could probably win, but also games that they could lose. And that's, that's the schedule right there. If they can get through Florida State and Mississippi State, then you get into the rest of the schedule. Starting off the month of October, it will be a road game at Auburn. Very tough environment, tough place to play. An Auburn team that that I think has a lot going for them. Question marks at the quarterback position. You know, I don't think they have the talent to, to match up with the top teams in the SEC. LSU, a more talented team, I would say top to bottom. But it's just something about playing at Jordan Hare. I think it's that environment. Uh, will make this game very intense, very close, a good game. I'm going to actually pick Auburn in this game. We'll say LSU loses that game on the road at Auburn. Auburn beat them last year in Death Valley. This year, I think Auburn at home. It's it's a tough one, revenge game for LSU. But is is it really a revenge game when you have a brand new coaching staff and so many new faces? Maybe, maybe not. But I do think Auburn. Uh, we're going to pick Auburn here in this game again. When I do my predictions, I get the record. For each team then I go back I I moved games around to get the records that I want for every team it's, it's kind of tricky to make it all come out just right but this that's how this one come out they came out with a uh, loss to Auburn and then follow that up with a game against Tennessee an explosive offense we know that Tennessee going to be a good team this year this should be a shootout back and forth type game probably a one score game I think it'll be close a lot of close games for LSU I think the rest of these games will be very close uh, except maybe Alabama, which we'll get to. But Tennessee definitely can score. And I think because of that, like I said, a shootout. But it's just hard for me to pick against LSU at home. It's just a such a tough place to play. 
It's like there's some kind of magic down there, and I think you'll see that. I think they beat Tennessee. They get this win. They improve to 5-1. and one. Florida coming up next on the road on October the 15th. Tough place to play there as well. And so really, it comes down to Auburn and Florida. I think LSU will split those two games. I don't see them going on the road and winning both of them. So if you want to give them a win against Auburn, give them a loss to Florida. But either way, I think they split those games. Again, to get the records that I needed for Auburn and for Florida, this is just how it kind of worked out. So I'm going to say they beat Florida. Again, toss-up type game. Tough place to play. Florida going to be, I think, better than some people expect. A lot of people riding them off. I think they might surprise this year. But we're going to say LSU wins that game. Flip it with Auburn, however you want to do it there. I think they split those games. So at the end of, you know, at this point in the season, regardless of how it goes down, maybe they even lose to Tennessee and they beat Auburn and Florida. But however it goes down, I think this team will be 6-1 and one heading into the, the final stretch here. Ole Miss comes up next. That's going to be a home game for LSU. Talked about, you know, it's hard to pick against them at home against unless it's a team like Alabama but yeah I've got I'm gonna go with LSU here in this game very similar to the Tennessee game I tell you what if you're an LSU fan and you're thinking about going to some games this year Tennessee Ole Miss wow those games are gonna be good a lot of points I think in both of those matchups and because they're playing at home again I'm gonna pick LSU to win this game and prove to seven and one before playing Alabama Alabama is just going to be in my opinion a little bit above everyone else in the SEC this year. They're just a better team. It's rare that you see this an Alabama, a Nick Saban team here at Alabama have so much coming back and also adding some key players in the transfer portal on top of just all the talent that they have have gotten over the last few years recruiting. I mean, this team's going to be really good. And I think they're good enough to go on the road. The only team that I see going on the road to beat LSU this year I do think Alabama. It's a pretty close game. Maybe like a, a two-score game. Maybe not one of those that comes down to the final possession. But that's just because, again, I think Alabama is going to be that good. They'll play Arkansas next on November the 12th on the road. Good game here. I think it's another one of those toss-up type games. And usually when it comes down to that, I'm going to go with home field advantage. So we say that we're going to say that Arkansas wins this game. But definitely a game that LSU could win. And again, you can move these games around. Let's say they beat Arkansas and lose to Florida on the road, or however it, it works out. It's just all about that record. That's what we're trying to do here in these predictions. I do think they will beat UAB in the next game. Uh, not, a, not a bad team. UAB, one of the better group of five teams, but LSU should be able to take care of business. Maybe a slow start after a loss to Arkansas with Texas A&M the next week, but I do think they'll they'll get it going in the second half and pull away. And then they close, up, close out the season with Texas A&M on the road. I've said this before, Texas A&M is a team that you want to play in September. You don't want to play them in November because they're going to be very young. They just are. They're going to play a lot of freshmen this year, not a ton of returning production, but I think they'll be a really good team by the end of the season. They'll have a lot of things figured out. They're playing at home. All of that leads to, in my opinion, a loss for LSU, and I've got this team going 8-4. and four. So pretty much lining up with the other predictions uh, you know, I could see them going 9-3. and three. I could see them beating Auburn or Arkansas. But at the same time, they could lose to Florida, Tennessee, Ole Miss. So I think this is a pretty fair prediction. And that's where I'm going to go with my record. 8-4 and four for LSU in 2022.